Good morning. Hey, hey, it's a Michelle and Molly with AP Fire Protection. And we are coming at you live today. We're gonna to be talking a little bit about panels. Hey, we are in a testing environment. So all these doodads and gadgets, fun times. I like playing with doodads and gadgets. Anyways, might get a little crazy loud because hey, we're in the warehouse. Things are happening. It's business. Yep. Yep. Totally. So we're going to give a high level overview of a conventional, conventional, conventional and addressable panel. Yeah. Totally. All right. So let's talk about conventional. What's a conventional panel, Molly? A conventional fire alarm panel is kind of an older model. Um, it was really great in the 80s, 90s, even early 2000s. Um, the main thing about a conventional fire alarm panel is they all have screens like this. In a conventional one, this will just tell you like an overview of where the alarm is coming from. So it'll say zone one or zone two, and there could be four or five devices connected to that. It doesn't so it matter. just tells you an area. Hey, something's happening in this area. You need to check it out. Mm -hmm. Where now we're gonna move into addressable. Mm, might give you an idea of what that might mean, right, Molly? Yeah. Addressable is. So with the new digital age, all of that, um, it basically tells you exactly which device is sending the signal to the alarm panel, exactly which room, mm -hmm. which wherever it is in your business, it'll tell you where exactly it is and which device exactly it is coming from. So example, a big office building. Um, you got an addressable panel, an alarm goes off. It's gonna tell you, hey, suite number blah, 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 has this happening, go check it out. Yeah, okay. it'll tell you whether or not a pull station was pulled, if a smoke detector is the reason why the panel's going off. Mm -hmm. so. so we just kinda turned on this little testing environment right now. And currently it says, system is all normal, which is a good thing. That's pretty much what we want to see all the time, right? Yes. What happens if something's not normal? Let's uh -oh. see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so say, oh, never mind. She got. Do you want to smoke us right now, or do you want to pull something? I kind of want to pull, but I kind of want to blow smoke. Let's do smoke later. Let's pull. Okay. She got to pull something, and maybe make noise. I don't even know what's gonna happen. It's a testing environment, and it's not mine. Pull it. Pull it, girl. <gasps> it says activated. Oh, look. Crazy. Remember, it's testing an environment. So right now what we have going off is a horn strobe. Not, no, not a horn strobe. A strobe. So a strobe, flashing, flashing. Identifying. So if you're sitting at your desk or what, you're like, what the heck? That strobe goes off. It's telling you get out of the building. Yeah. And that would be, of course, um, accompanied by an alarm. Audible. Mm -hmm alarm so let's see so we're going to kind of reset this acknowledge it get everything back on track so the panel identified that there was a problem right and it set off a strobe and that was pretty darn quick right molly yeah okay so if for some reason there was a fire and you know in a little bit Molly's gonna blow some smoke if there was a fire say it I'm a business owner right it's like 2 a.m. what am I doing at 2 a.m. I should be Sleeping. <laughs> yeah that's what should be happening yeah so what happens when uh, we blow smoke fire alarm goes off maybe the sprinklers go off and something is not monitored Hmm. Things are still going to be taken care of, right? <laughs> so that sprinkler's still going to work. It's still, still going to work pop. to put that fire out. But hey, it's 2 a.m. I'm the owner. I'm still sleeping. Hey, hey, I got no monitoring company involved. <clears throat> Regulations say that you have to have a monitoring service involved in commercial businesses, right? NFPA requires it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So if 
I didn't have that. That sprinkler, guess what? It's 2 a.m. and I'm sleeping. That sprinkler's still running. It's not gonna shut off until I come to work at 9 a.m. and then my business is flooded. Or better yet, hey, it's vacation. What, what? I got three days off. Sprinkler's running for three days. Huge problem. Let's flash forward to where we should be in compliance and have a monitoring system. What happens then, Molly? Well, basically what a monitoring system is, is it's like an integrated system that is connected to your fire alarm panel. Um, and then that it wirelessly from there connects to a monitoring station. Um, and basically it protects your business 24 seven. So whether you're there or you're not there, mm -hmm. it will alert first responders that there is an alarm. Something needs to happen, roll out, because there's not a certain amount of water that is in your pipes when your sprinkler pops. It's not gonna flow until the fire's out and then it's just gonna shut off. It's gonna continue to flow until, hello. It's going to continue to go until somebody physically goes to the riser and turns it off because you're getting all of that water from the city. So it's an unlimited supply of water that's continuing to dump water until somebody says, everything's good now, let's turn it off. So you need that monitoring, <clears throat> monitoring company to notify fire department and notify me, sleepy owner. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So let's blow some smoke. <laughs> Ma's gonna blow some smoke. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm gonna move this. Whoop, just a little up. Hey, hey, hey. So obviously the smoke would be from fire. Ooh, look at all that smoky, smoky. Now, um, I believe it should take 90 seconds or less, obviously, to notify the panel that something is So wrong. that red light just went on. It says something's going on. And right now this is saying smoke. There's smoke. So in our testing environment, we don't have the, uh, bells and whistles connected at this time, but we do have the strobe. But hey, if we did have those bells and whistles, look, here's the bell. That might happen too. That totally would. It's a testing, I was using my ring, hey. But so <clears throat> look how quick that happened. That went off within two minutes or under two minutes. So 90 seconds, but boom, boom. And then the monitoring company gets notified. Yeah. Yeah. When this starts going off, you know that the, the signal has already transmitted to the central monitoring station. So fire department, chances are they're already rolling out. Yep. Hey, hey, we want to keep your business safe, keep your employees safe and keep your customers safe. Yes. Yes. All right. And we do provide monitoring services. How do they reach us, Ms. Molly? 623-544. Wait. <laughs> Six two three seven seven two five three four four. Sorry. All right. So hey, she's got a little smoke in the brain, I guess. Anyways, thank you for watching. That's our quick overview on panels. If you have any questions, any feedback, give us a comment. Reach out and contact us if you need monitoring or any other fire protection services. We're here to service your business. Yes. Have a great day. Bye.